I thought I saw Stephen go into the scoring shed. He was carrying a cup of tea, so I went over to see him. And when you got there? There was no one there. Maybe I was wrong, maybe it wasn't Stephen. What did you see? I looked inside, and he was just lying there, Charles Jennings. First I thought he was asleep. Miss Smith, you told me that Stephen Cavendish came to the pub at five minutes past eight last Sunday morning. Now, I want you to think very carefully about this. Are you sure that was the right time? I don't know. Maybe it was later. I told you what he wanted me to say. Please don't ask me anymore. I was in here. Mrs. Wilson asked me to take a cup of tea to the scoring shed. I took it. I gave it to him. He said, thank you. I left. Thank you. Tar, something like that. According to Mrs. Wilson, it was you who offered to take the tea. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. She asked, and I just happened to be there. Do you recognize this, sir? Yes, it's one of my father's. Why didn't you talk to him? He was at the match. He came out of nowhere. And he had blood on him. Anyway, I had no reason to kill Charles Jennings. We found this in his pocket. So he had cash. Five hundred pounds in cash, sir. A lot of cash. Sir, were you and Charles Jennings involved in a relationship of a sexual nature? Don't be disgusting. You didn't give him any money? No! Look... I'm not going to say any more until I've spoken to my solicitor. That might be a good idea, sir. I saw what happened in the quarry. I was watching Mrs. Cavendish, and I know who killed her. I don't want to go to the police, but I do want money. I want 500 pounds in cash before the end of the week, or else. It looks as though we've got our man, sir. Let's try. It looks as if we have. 